Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Last time, we had a sad, sad day. But, it was a happy day because it was because Mr. Galuff was replaced by his granddaughter Kryle. And as you can see in the menu, we now have Kryle in our party and if you look at her jobs, all her stuff is still the same level as what Galuff left off as. By the way, I actually did a slight bit of grinding before I started today's video. So I actually mastered Hunter with Kryle and um, Butts, and Reyna finished uh, mastering White Mage. And I've done a whole bunch of grinding actually over the last few days, just a little bit at a time. Started mastering some jobs. Um, I'll get into more like stuff I got, but the fact that I mastered Hunter means I now have the ability to do X Attack, or in this game it's called S Shot, which makes me be able to attack four times in a row. I'll bait the attacks are weaker, but you get to attack four times, so it's pretty awesome. I'll be showing that off in battle, actually. Anyway, so Kryle, as you can see, all her jobs have their own unique little flavor on how her costume looks and all that good stuff, but let's let's stop dwelling on that. So, let's not waste a whole lot of time starting off this episode, because let me show you where I am on the map, and you'll notice that I'm way up here in the northwest continent. And I'm actually about to use the submarine to go underwater and show you an underwater cave. That's actually a side thing, the last side thing that we're gonna do here in this in this part of the world. I'm already all healed up and everything. Oh, and of course there's gonna be random battles. I have no idea what to expect from this battle though. Let's find out. It's a druid, so at least we're gonna find some new enemies before we're out of here. Let's see what they. Oh, oh, that those moves are annoying. The ones that make you half your level, those are really annoying. I should just use up my friggin' magic. I don't see why I'm, I'm not really conserving it on purpose or anything. And you can tell that I switched up my party a little bit because of what we're gonna get done today. On this, well, it might not be this particular episode, but what I'm, what I'm planning on doing, and this is probably gonna be one of those long recording sessions where I do one whole long dungeon and it'll probably get split up because the next thing we're gonna do is a dungeon and it's gonna take a while. What the heck? Memory lost. All right. Here's S shot <coughs> for those who might want to see it. So since I have it on a ninja and a ninja attacks twice, I actually get to attack eight times. Of course, sometimes you miss. Damn it. You don't want that. You don't want to miss. Um, yeah, I don't know. Where the hell did Kryle though go though? She just disappeared? She's just fucking gone from the face of the fucking planet? What the hell? What the hell did they do to her, man? And I should always do S shot. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Those druids are kind of annoying. Definitely be glad. Whoa! Whoa! That was a lot of experience and ABP. Wow. Well, if ever I take some time to just level up randomly, I might come back here and do that, just so you guys know. Got 5 ABP and 1500 XP and gil. Oh, another new enemy. Iron Dress. Doesn't look... Oh, God. It looks like he's going to be, like, crazy high defense. Barely even did like three damn. Oh, well, that kicked his ass. Oh, yeah. Look at all these attacks. Gotta love having S shot on a ninja. It's freaking awesome, right? Freaking awesome. Just use up my stuff. I'm gonna probably heal up after I do what I'm about to do. See, this is the last side thing. I should probably talk about that. The last side thing to do is actually collecting a s another summon, similar to how we collected Ramu. If you remember back when we got Ramu back in the other world, uh, we actually had to walk around on the map and find him in a random battle. Well, that's exactly what we're going to have to do as soon as we make our way out of this cave. This cave is actually going to lead us back out onto the world map. And damn it, why didn't I use S-Shot again? S-Shot was awesome. Oh, God, this thing is just too over-defended. Use more magic on him, please. Let's ice... No, let's bio him. Bio him. Bio yo ass bitch. Yeah, suck on that. Let's see how much GP and stuff I get from that. Wow. Just wow. Holy crap. Yeah, Kryle just went up a level for Thief because she's pretty low level Thief. I never made Galuff a Thief really, barely at all, so she's gonna go up levels pretty fast as that job since she just started at level zero. Alright, so this is the area. I'm gonna walk around here. If I run into new enemies, I'll show it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna walk around until I run into the summon and I'll show that battle when it, when it happens. So I'll see you guys then, or not. We'll see. 
Okay, this is just a group of random enemies. Hopefully this is all the types of enemies in this area. You've actually seen a couple of these, right? Or at least the Cure Beasts, those rabbits. You've definitely seen those. We fought those back over by more forest. But these bald monies... Bald money is that... That dimension ripping thing. And then that turtle I just killed. I missed the name. It's now dead. Anyways... This will probably be all the new enemies in this whole area, so we won't have to worry about... I won't have to worry about showing any more battles. This will be the only one I'll probably end up showing. Until I fight the summon that I'm looking for. I would say the summon's name, but it's actually a new summon. So it's not like if I say his name, you're going to know who I'm looking for. So it's going to be a surprise to you. It's pretty much as much as me, because I, even I forgot what he looks like. I don't even remember. It's going to be a surprise to me when I find him, too. Because, I like I said, I don't even remember what the hell he looks like. The only problem with this party that I have set up right now is there I have no heavy hitters. While my ninja can hit a lot, he doesn't hit big big time hits and he doesn't have high defense. So my low defense group here is I'm gonna have to hope for some hope for some uh I don't know, hope to be able to pull some shit out of my ass later. Because uh either, my low defense team has less than no I don't think anybody on my group has over a thousand HP in this in this particular setup. So we'll see if that backfires on me. Anyway, I'll see you in the next battle where I... Well, what am I getting for spoils? You know, I'm not going to show myself walking around the map. I'll just show you when I get to the next battle. So I'll see you then. Okay, here he is. Finally found who we came to find. Well, uh, introduce yourself to Shoat. Now, Shoat is actually not too difficult of a boss. This S-Shot ability is actually going to be really nice, because I'm going to take out a nice, hefty chunk of his HP right here in one shot. Now, he counters with Evil Eye, which actually petrifies the character automatically. Now, you want to be careful, because he just, he just doubled up on it, too, so you got to be really careful, because he'll petrify your whole party real quick. Now, one thing I should have did already, which now I just use both my mages, is casted Golem so I could be defended, because he mostly just uses physical attacks. So for the most part, ah oh shit, I should have waited to do that. It's alright. The amount of damage this is, is completely worth it, even if he petrifies me instantly afterwards. Because I'm pretty sure after these two attacks, he's more than half dead. Oh look, he's already dead. That was... Wow. Really? He's already dead? I thought he had more HP than that. Wow. Well, that was really easy. I thought he had way more HP. He must only have like 3,000 HP. Well, there you go. We got the summon, Shoat. And to actually learn to be able to cast him, we actually must go and do our menu, find him in here somewhere all over the place with all these damn items we have. I really do need to start selling some stuff. I don't need all of this anymore. And now we have officially learned Shoat. To confirm, we go to summons, and there he is right after Golem. Now, Shoat, as you can probably guess, actually does exactly what he did in that battle, which is summon, or not summon, uh, cast Petrify. Now this is one thing I wanted to show, is there's actually a Chocobo Forest here. It's kind of a pointless Chocobo Forest, there's not really anything here except for obviously one Chocobo, and if you catch it, we can ride out, baby. I'm pretty sure there's no items or anything hidden in this forest. Oh, we can't ride it? Oh, I thought we could ride it. Oh, well, fuck me. Fuck me for being wrong. Well, Fine, it just brings up sad memories of our Boko that we left behind. Anyways, so let's head back to our submarine. If I run into a battle, I'll just cut it and I'll meet you back at the submarine. Because the, the enemies in here were kind of annoying, if you remember. Alright, so we should be able to... There we go. Alright, so back to the submarine we are. And you know what? I don't even have to go out and use the cottage. Because if you go downstairs in the submarine, you can rest. I think I kind of showed that you could do this before, but I didn't actually use it yet. So, yeah, we take a nap in our chairs, I guess. That's how you rest. You wouldn't think you'd be able to fill up all, uh, fill up all your HP while you sleep in a chair, but hey. Whatevs. To each their own, right? To each their own. So, that officially wraps up all the side stuff we can do. Pretty much in this entire world. Um, I say world because that's... If you look at the map, there's really not anywhere else we can go. So... Our next destination is actually to head over to back to X Death Castle, because once we got the barrier down, we were at, and and took care of the events in More Forest. We are now able to head 
to his castle, unimpeded, and finally just storm the castle and try to take it over and defeat X-Death once and for all. So, yeah, it sounds like the end of the game, right? Well, spoiler alert, it's not going to be the end of the game quite yet. There's actually going to be a whole other part of the game. For those who've played this game know there's I'm not even close to actually being done. For those who haven't played this game, well, there's an entirely there entirely an entire another part to the game. And I wish I wouldn't got my dragon, but it's too late now. I'm already here. So I'm going to walk over to the castle and we'll see if we fight any new enemies along the way. All right. So mostly it's just going to be the old enemies we fought like the water blue sperm and stuff. Okay, so here we are, Excess Castle. We're back. Remember when we escaped? Well, it's going to be pretty much the same. It's not going to look any different than when we left, except for a bunch of dead guards. Wow. I guess all of what's his face's uh, soldiers didn't didn't have such a good uh good shot at all that. Now I'm pretty sure if we come up in here, the save point is still here. And these side springs are actually healing springs, which I don't even think I showed. So those are healing springs that we can utilize if we need them. This is a save point, which I probably should try to use, but I'm not gonna. And I'm already healed, so I didn't need to use a cottage or anything. So otherwise, I think we can now go in this door. If, we, if I remember correctly, it was locked when we first came through here, and now it's not. Now, I have a thief, so if there's any secret passages, I'll be able to see them. I was just thinking I'm worried that I might miss a secret passage, but I have a thief, so I'm not worried. Anyways, let's see what we got up in this bitch. Is it going to be a new enemy? Yes, it is. These are blind wolves, which are probably going to be really annoying, and freaking every time they hit you, don't tell me they're going to blind me. Fuck, I knew it. Freaking knew it. Oh, no. Anything that can hit you and cast blind instantly just sucks. It sucks major anus. Hmm, what could I do to just kill all these guys in one hit? Should I summon? Summon? Yeah. Why not? Let's Ramu they asses. Ramu they asses. Seven asses. Ramu them. Ramu them to death. Blind wolves are... Damn it, they have more HP than that. Of course they do. I was hoping that would do more damage. They must be weaker to, like, fire or something. Let's use S-Shot. Now, if you'll notice when I click S-Shot, I don't get to actually pick which enemy I want to target. Well, that's because you don't. It just kind of randomly picks which target to hit. So, yeah, it looks like he picked that bottom one to kick ass on. At least he killed two of them, though. That was worth it. Definitely a worth it. Okay. So, I believe... I believe, I believe in... At least we're getting a lot of ABP from every battle now. It's not like it was early in the game where every battle won ABP. So it's just like, am I ever going to be able to learn anything? Well, now that we're at this point in the game, we'll be able to learn stuff a lot faster and level up our jobs. Oh, some couple more new enemies. Cool. We got a Ref Mage. Kind of goes with that Reflect Knight that we fought before. And a Twin Lizard, which... Did we fight a Twin Lizard yet? Uh, we might have fought something like a Twin Lizard. I remember... I know there's another enemy that looks like a twin lizard at some point in this game. We might have already fought that, or we already fought one of these. Either way, that's a twin lizard that I just killed. Surprise, surprise, I know. These blind wolves are going to piss me off before this place is over. I'm kind of glad I went back and bought some items before I started today's episode. I bought a bunch of just random healing items and whatnot, so everybody should have... I should have plenty of items to heal myself up as needed. Apparently he just casts spells on himself and reflects them. I love enemies that do that. Don't don't you? Don't you? Yeah. So awesome. Can you? Why do you gotta? It's understandable if like the enemy he was attacking needed to be hit that many times, but he didn't need to be hit that many times, man. Not even close. Steal. What do you got? Ah, oh, couldn't steal. You fail. Bolt two. Oh no! Not 96 damage. Oh no! Hmm. Am I over leveled for this place now? I might be slightly over leveled because when I was grinding for ability points, I did go up at least one level per person, maybe two. I don't exactly recall how much I actually leveled up. It might have been too much though. I might have leveled up a tad bit too much. It's definitely possible. Now are these springs? No, they're just water. Just water for effect to give the place ambiance. 
little bit of ambiance. And oh, 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 there's another new enemy in there. That is a rage. It's literally a rage. <laughs> I was gonna say what it is, but it's a rage. I don't have to describe it any more than that. It's actually a rage. It's probably a terrible translation, just like why burn for the wyvern. Fucking terrible. It's probably like it's supposed to probably be called like a something. I don't know. I could make up a name, but it's probably not even close. To be honest, I don't even know what that name probably should be. A rage works for me though. So he could be like, you put him into a rage. Ha ha ha. Clever wordplay. Yeah. Killed off them twin lizards. These enemies are weak sauce right now. I did not expect the enemies in this dungeon to be this weak. Like, I'm not even worried right now. They're not really pissing me off. The only worries I'm having at this moment are like, uh, just making sure I don't miss all the treasure when I get through this dungeon. I have plenty of healing items. I'm not even going to use my MP pretty much at all except for to attack. I'm not going to use it to heal at all. Hopefully, I, I'm not, I keep saying hopefully, but I'm, I'm, I'm fairly positive there's another save point in here before we get to the end, so definitely not worried. Wait, did he actually, ah, fucking ass. Why you gotta make somebody else come back to life before you die? That's just annoying. Should've used S-Shot. When you have one enemy, S-Shot is the way to go, since you can automatically know that all your attacks will hit that one enemy. It's really worth it. Really, really worth it. Either way, Twin Lizard goes down without too much trouble. Uh, it's another job level for Reyna. Reyna's now level 4 on the summoning... summoner -ness 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 -ness. That's cool. That's cool. Now, I think... Yeah, there's not much to do up in here. Oh, why is it like a... Looks like a dead end. What the hell? So it may seem like this is a dead end, but what you do actually is you're supposed to try and head back now and see it says dead end. And then, all of a sudden, cutscene. Cryo's like, no, wait, this can't be a dead end. Cryo, what's the matter? It's an illusion of extents. How do you know? How do you know these things, you little girl? You're just a little girl. Grandpa, give me strength. Uh oh. Don't ask for Gluff's strength. Gluff's like, he'll destroy the world accidentally. Oh, well, how can Grandpa give you strength if he's dead? And this is the last of the four warriors who looks like he's even on his deathbed. Even Gluff, Drogon, Ziza, Gluff, they're all gone now. Cough, hack, hack, cough. I don't have long myself. Oh, great. The last of the four Dawn Warriors is going to go down too? This can't be good. What will the world do without them? They're symbols, man. Finally going to take the big sleep? You mean death? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? Afraid to call it death? What the hell's Gluff doing here? Ghost! Who the? That you, Gluff? Krile and the others? Ghost! Ghost hunters would be proud, man. They'd be like, holy shit, ghosts do exist. What, did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? Yeah, yeah, you understand. What do you understand exactly? Lord Kelga, I'm going to destroy Excess Illusion. Oh, that must be Kryle. With my last bit of strength, I'll get you all into Excess Castle. We're already in Excess Castle. But there's like a whole other section of the castle. We haven't even... We haven't even seen the half of it yet. Not even close. We've only seen the part that actually looks like a castle. Lord Kelga, no! That's... 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 That, that's that's a wrap for all the four Dawn Warriors. They are now all officially gone. Gone away. It's a sad day. Grandpa and Werewolf! You mean Kelga? Yup. Whoa. Very green. Everyone's power! Everyone's power. I have the power! By the power of Kryle. We shall prevail. Holy. Yeah. True form of X-Death's castle. Look how fucking scary that is.